Uh, and bear with me. On the morning of January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger blasted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Seventy-three seconds later, millions watched on television as a rocket disintegrated into a fiery explosion. The death of all seven crew members shocked the nation. As they learned in the months that followed, the tragedy could have and should have been avoided. President Reagan immediately appointed a commission to determine the probable causes of the accident. The Presidential Commission identified the primary cause of the accident as a failure in the joint between two stages of the rocket that allowed hot gases to escape during the burn. The average citizen could understand the mechanics of a commission's finding. After all, everyone knows what happens when you pour gasoline on an open flame. What people found difficult to fathom was why NASA had launched the Challenger when there was good reason to believe the condition wasn't safe. In addition to the defective seal, the commission also concluded that a highly flawed decision process was an important contributing cause of the disaster. The more amiability and esprit de corps among members of the policy-making in-group, the greater is the danger that independent critical thinking will be replaced by groupthink. Janus was convinced that the concurrent seeking tendency of close knit groups can cause them to make inferior decisions. I'll wrap this up. There's eight symptoms of groupthink illusions of invulnerability, belief in inherent morality of the group, collective rationalization, outgroup stereotypes or us versus them, self censorship, illusion of unanimity, direct pressure on dissenters, and self appointed mind guards. What city council, city management, are engaged in right now is a perfect example of groupthink. It's a textbook definition of it. Not once since this VRD discussion began has one member of city council ever asked if it was needed. No member of council asked for a definition of the problem. No member of city council questioned the upfront expense or the long-term economic impact. No member of city council demanded the voices of the consensus group be heard. No member of city council has been outraged at the seemingly endless and vague given, uh, excuses given for the proposed changes, all because they want to maintain harmony within the group. I'm asking you here one more time, just as the engineers did, don't launch this. Think and act as individuals. Don't feel pressured by any member of council. This disaster can be avoided.